Hello and welcome to my 19th Alice tutorial. Today I'll be showing you a few pro tips that you might enjoy. The first one being how to get extra objects into your Alice program so they're right there for you to pull out. And then the other one is to change the splash screen or the little screen that pops up at the beginning of when you open it, the one that has Alice on it. Well, to help you understand what I'm talking about getting objects in, you see these panels right here where they have objects in? Well, there's a way to make your own. So what you do is just close out of Alice and go into your documents or wherever you saved your Alice program. What you do is go into Alice 2.2, go into the required, and then go to gallery. And this is where all those items are held at. And uh, you can add your own folder by just right clicking and creating a new folder. And whatever items that you place in there will be uh, in that list of objects. They're not going to have pictures or anything on it like they already do have for their uh, objects that come with Alice. But uh, it's not really a big deal because you have that object anyway, so you don't need a picture showing you what it is. As long as you have it titled right, you'll know what it is. And uh, to change the splash screen, all you do is go back to the required and uh, go to etc. Then there's a thing right here called Alice Splash. It's a JPEG image. All you do is delete the image that they have in there already and remember how they have it. It's capital A, capital S, Alice Splash. And uh, all you do is take your image that you want, delete the one they have in there, paste yours in there, and rename it Alice Splash. And it'll open up with the image that you want. So to uh, show you what it looks like when it's all done, I'll just open up my Alice right here. And you can see that I have a picture of a dingo because it's a cute little dingo. <laughs> And once it opens up, I'll show you what a new folder will look like. And uh, it just takes a while to load up. Hit cancel. And uh, click add new objects. And uh, I just named mine my objects. And you can see it's a new folder. And it just has whatever objects that I uh, wanted to be placed in there. So uh, that's how you get these uh, fascinating things to use in Alice if you want to just uh, make it your own pretty much so uh, that's pretty much it so I hope this helped and uh, check out my other Alice tutorials if you need help with it and uh, that's pretty much it so, so thanks for watching